in terms of the vision for the school, uh, I think we are trying to address, we at LM Thapar School of Management are trying to address the important needs of management education today. And the three founding pillars that we would, that I would like to describe my vision uh, of the school uh, on is, uh, are global, digital, and experiential. All management education today almost essentially needs to be global in nature because the world is increasingly becoming a more interconnected business place. So at uh, LM Thapar also, we are very committed to a global, uh, global positioning and to, uh, to ensure that our students develop a global mindset, which may or may not involve travel and exchange which happens in a big way at LM Thapar uh, with our partner schools abroad. But even for those students who choose not to travel, our curriculum includes a lot of global content. And we also have distinguished faculty from, uh, from uh, abroad coming and teaching at the School of Management. Digital, as we, as we all know, is becoming an increasing part of our lives, what with COVID or even without it. And we do see the digital way of delivery and understanding digital ways of doing business as becoming an increasing part of management curriculum and management practice. So we stress a lot on digital as in pedagogic way, in delivering courses over digitally, in partnering with digital platforms and in curriculum, focusing on digital ways of doing business. Finally, the experiential. We are firmly of the opinion that management as a discipline is as much about skills as it is about theories. So those skills can rarely be taught in a classroom lecture um, methodology. So for decades now, we have used, management educators have used the case studies as a method of instruction. And we certainly use a lot of case studies together with our lectures. But we believe in an even stronger experiential aspect to it. So as I say, that I hear and I forget, I see, I remember, and I do, and I understand. So it's only when students go through certain simulations or experiential projects that we believe actual learning takes place in the strongest manner. So our curriculum entails a lot of project work and a lot of in-practice courses where industry professionals interact with our students and our students take on group projects which forces them to go out to the villages or to the neighborhoods or to industries to find out the challenges that are currently there and propose solutions to it. So our approach to management education can certainly be summarized with the three words, global, digital, and experiential. We have a very well-trained uh, faculty who have had global exposure, uh, manning the Thapar School of Management, just like it is for the other departments of Thapar University. And our faculty is trained and experienced in delivering or guiding students through experiential learning. So basically, you know, in a, in a management school, in a business school, we say, the faculty is not no longer the sage on stage. Rather, his or her role is to be that of the guide on the side. So most of the learning in a business school happens through peer learning and through experiential learning. The role of the faculty is therefore to be that of a catalyst, to be that of a facilitator, and to encourage questioning and to, uh, to enhance discussions among students so that they finally see the way in which 
an answer, not necessarily the last word, not necessarily the final answer, but one defendable answer emerge from a problem of that is a very realistic in nature. So our faculty devotes a lot of time and energy in making sure that they guide students to build that skill of finding an answer in, a, in an unstructured situation rather than telling students what the answers to well-known but possibly less relevant questions are going to be. So that is where the strength of the LMT SOM faculty lies. And of course, our faculty spans a very wide range of management disciplines from finance to marketing, to information systems, to operations management, to HR and organizational behavior, and so on and so forth. But we also have elements of tech because we are located in one of the most uh, tech savvy universities of the country, we certainly take advantage of our colleagues in the tech departments, particularly in the areas of AI and computer science. And uh, we are um, particularly slanted towards developing uh, a student body and an alumni body that is capable of handling the management of technology. So that I think is a distinctive feature of, uh, of the of LM Thapar School of Management, the fact that it is a part of a very well-known and established tech university of the country. We have a particular way of uh, creating our, uh, curating our uh, curriculum, and which has a very strong use of what we call in-practice courses. So these in-practice courses, as I mentioned briefly before, involves practitioners exposing our students to real life problems that are currently happening in the industry. What what is a common challenge to business schools across board is that what we talk about in classrooms and what challenges people face in the real world of business tend to get divorced from each other. And while we build students uh, who are very capable of solving theoretical problems, those may not be the real skills that they need to excel at the workplace. So our in-practice courses bridges that gap. And it, it comes in and exposes students to real life, current contemporary problems and encourages them to find answers to that guided by industry professionals. But those industry professionals are also, these courses are also anchored by academics. So it's not like the industry professionals themselves are running the entire course. It's anchored by an academic, a professor, but there are a series of industry experts who come and guide our students to make, to clear that, create that, uh, that relevance uh, part. Let me also give you one example, something that has been of increasing importance in workplaces uh, around the world is what we, what has come to be called ESG, environment, society, and governance. So companies are no longer very narrowly focused on making what they make and uh, maximizing profits, but they also have to be conscious of the environmental, social, and governance issues that uh, that have uh, that impact them uh, greatly. So, in at uh, LMT SOM, we put a lot of stress on sensitizing our students to the question of sustainability, to the question of of environmental sustainability, social sustainability, and governance sustainability. So, so that our students go out not only technically informed, but sensitized in a proper way for a 21st century business professional, so as to take on the challenges and be prepared for the workplace that, that, is, that is totally focused on ESG. So that is just one example. But it, that example probably illustrates how we work very hard to keep our students abreast of the contemporary reality of business. Mm -hmm. 
our campus is a 30 plus acres uh, verdant green, very well maintained campus. And it's located uh, very close to the Chandigarh Tri-City area. So it's one of the best locations in the country. And uh, we are very proud of the, uh, of the campus and the campus has uh, infrastructure that is very well suited to a top uh, business school from auditorium to residences, to cafes, to hostels that are absolute cutting edge hostels. And this is also true of the Patiala campus of, uh, of the Thapar uh, University, Thapar Institute of Engineering and Technology. And uh, our hostels are, the, are, are some of the best in the country. And our, our faculty residences, we have sports facilities and large grounds for all kinds of sports that get played and our students participate in sports. Our students have a whole uh, list of fests and festivals that they participate in and organize uh, every few weeks. And we consider that very much a part of the learning journey because what happens in an MBA program is not only that most of the learning happens um, uh, from a peer-to-peer -peer basis, but the bonding that students form among themselves are proved to be extremely important in the work life of these students going forward. And it's, it's uh, the, the benefit of having a residential campus is that those bondings are very strong and deep. And this is where our students do bond very well with uh, one another. And uh, they enjoy their two years at our campus. And uh, most of them, after graduation, come back to campus and with a lot of nostalgia. And uh, there are frequent alumni meets where the alumni connects with the current faculty, current students, and uh, interact with them. So yes, I, I don't think I'll be misplaced in saying that the campus life at uh, at our Derabasi campus is a vibrant and joyful one. Coming to your question of uh, diversity, we have a very diverse, uh, gender diverse uh, group and uh, student body. And I think uh, if the statistics, uh, if I'm right, nearly half of our students are women and it is a very uh, safe, and uh, happy uh, environment for uh, women students. Our geographical diversity is increasing. And while I think um, a substantial part of the student body just does come from uh, North India, but presence from the West, West India, as well as a little bit from the South and East is uh, increasing over time. So we have a reasonably diverse, geographically diverse and very gender balanced student body, uh, which seems to, uh, seems to be very, provide a very enjoyable learning environment for the students. The internship in the at the end of the first year is quite critical for students to uh, sometimes find job offers from the companies that they have interned with, or to showcase their abilities in the final placement. So we have been uh, successful in getting internships for all our students and placement for nearly all of our students for the last several years. And over time, uh, the, the LMT SOM is a relatively new school. We are only about 15 years old now. But over time, our uh, pay packages have also increased uh, gradually. And we are seeing increases every year. And this year also, some of the, some of the best offers have been in the, in the neighborhood of uh, 20 lakhs per annum. The average is slightly below 8 lakhs uh, per annum. And uh, but I think the top quartile is probably uh, above 12 to 14 lakhs. So top 25 percent get, gets in that range. Uh, and uh, the companies that hire here include 
the big four consulting companies, Deloitte and PwC and others come here. Some banks come here, operations companies come here, manufacturing companies come here. And there is a very wide range of corporates. Some of the best names in the country are recruiters here and they keep coming back to uh, LM uh, Thapar School of Management because they're so happy with the students that they have recruited in the past. Mm -hmm.